Hello, this is professional sports better Eric Waz from Better IQ. Now I'm going to break down the game between the Raptors and the Warriors for Thursday, March 5th. But first, be sure to check out BetterIQ.com to get free picks and analysis from our team of handicappers on a daily basis. So let's break down the game here. So Toronto has really been struggling lately. They're 1-3 in the last four games. Had a couple of really, really poor efforts in there. Their net rating in that span, negative 5.4. For the season, they're sitting at plus 6.3. So definitely their worst basketball run of the season. Uh, they've been fighting through a few injuries, uh, just not 100%, and the rotation's been a little short, and I think they'll come back today and play a little better. They have, they're a little bit healthier. It's a pretty good spot here. They're, they're actually 25-10 and 10 against the spread of the Raptors when they play a team on equal rest. As the case here today against the Warriors, uh, the, the Raptors are 82-59 and 59 ATS on equal rest since 2017 as well. So, that's a really good sign of, of good coaching uh, overall when you can use that time to prepare for a game better than your opposing head coach can. So with that kind of sample size, we can feel good about the fact that Toronto has a big coaching edge, even over a guy like Steve Kerr, who's really working with a shorthanded team right now. Um, and one area I think Toronto could generate some good offense in this game is in transition. They're actually third in transition offense in the NBA, and the Warriors really struggle on that end of the floor. They're, they're 20th in stopping transition. So I think we'll see... Some easy buckets here for Toronto. But the big story in this game is the return of Steph Curry. He's probable to return for this one. Uh, he is going to be on a minute restriction. He's not going to play a ton of minutes. The team's going to be extra careful with their franchise player. He's not going to be in a full rhythm yet. Uh, and remember, the Warriors want the number one pick in the draft. So I'm assuming that they're going to probably be extra careful with him and not want to get the team on fire here down the stretch and win too many games to lose that top spot. So... I'm not too worried about Steph coming back, especially this first game. Uh, and the Warriors have been playing well lately, so this can actually disrupt their rhythm a bit. It sounds kind of weird to get your best player back and, and have it disrupt the team, but the Warriors were finally kind of turning a corner here since the break, playing really good basketball. And uh, that's that's not their best time to bring back when you're best players. So I like Toronto here in the road, uh, laying the price here. We'll take that as our free pay selection today. For more great insights and free picks, go to BetterIQ.com, your one-stop shop for sports betting analysis, tools, and, of course, picks, all from professional sports bettors. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more free picks and analysis every single day. Thanks for listening. Signing off from BetterIQ, Eric Waz.